Continuing on in section 4.7, we're going to order these numbers from least to greatest. Uh, so I'm going to start by putting them all into scientific notation in number 9 here. My first two are, my last one's not. So uh, here I get just my uh, digits that I'm are important, my non-zero digits. Exactly one number uh, in front of my decimal. And I look, how many places then do I have to move? Uh, to get back to where we started. One, two, three, four. So I multiply times 10 to the fourth power. Now I compare my uh, exponential factors. 4 is less than 5. So I know my uh, 10 to the 4th are going to be smaller than my 10 to the 5th. So I know 2.4 times 10 to the 5th is going to be the biggest. Now I compare my number parts, my decimals. 3.3 is less than 4.9, which means 3.3 times 10 to the 4th is smaller than uh, 4.9 times 10 to the 4th, which is actually 49,000. And there we go. Uh, give 10 a try. Again, we want to get all of our numbers into scientific notation. So 635. I want exactly one number in front of my decimal. And then I check how many places I had to move. One, two, three, four, five. Which is going to give me uh, 6.35 times 10 to the fifth power. Now, I compare my exponential parts here, my times 10 to the powers. 5 is less than 6. So I know my times 10 to the fifths are going to be smaller than my times 10 to the sixth, which means 8. 0.16 times 10 to the 6th is going to be biggest. Then I compare my decimal parts. 4.08 is less than 6.35, which means 4.08 times 10 to the 5th is smallest, and 635,000 is in the middle. And there they are from least to greatest. Give an 11 a try here. Again, I want to put all my numbers in scientific notation so that they are comparable. Uh, I take my number parts, my non-zero digits, 1, 7. I want exactly one number in front of my decimal. And then I count how many places I'd have to move to get back. 1, 2, 3, 4. And since I'm dealing with really small numbers here and I had to move towards negative numbers, it's going to be a negative fourth. Now, to compare, I check my exponential parts first. Negative four is less than negative three, uh, which means 2.8 times 10 to the negative third is going to be my biggest. My 10 to the negative fourths are going to be my smallest. Now we compare our number parts. 1.7 and 1.9, my decimals. Uh, 1.7 is less than 1.9. So 1.7 times 10 to the negative fourth is smallest. Then 1.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. And finally, the 2.8 times 10 to the negative third. And again, that's because that exponent is biggest, which means it's multiplied by an extra 10. And give 12 a try. Again, we want all of our numbers in scientific notation to start with so that we can compare them. I take my non-zero digits. I want exactly one number in front of my decimal. And then I count how many places I have to move to get back to where my decimal was. One, two, three, four, here. So I take that 5.6 times 10, and here since I move towards negative numbers, it's a negative four. 
I can compare now that I have them all in the same format. I have a negative 3, 10 to the negative 3rd, and 10 to the negative 4th. So by comparing my exponents, I know that negative 4 is less than negative 3. So 0 0.00056 is going to be my smallest uh, value here. And we want to write those the same way they originally were, so I went back and changed it up here. That's my bad. Uh, we wanted a, the same format the original number was given to us. So here it's 0 0.00017 in 11 and in 12, 0.00056. Uh, then, since my exponents are negative 3 on both of my others, I compare my decimal parts. 7.8 is less than 7.9, which means... 7.8 times 10 to the negative third is smaller than 7.9 times 10 to the negative third. So uh, there are my numbers from least to greatest. And that's all I have for section 4.7.